Welcome to Let's Go Back, Episode 2. Tonight we're on the PC and we go right back to a classic. It stood above the rest back then, can it still do it now? I'm Hamrat, press the button, and let's get going with Duke Nukem. Don't get your panties all in a bunch. Duke Nukem was released in 1991, but I'm jumping to Duke Nukem 3D. It had women, it had sex, it had drugs, it had alcohol, it had action, blood, guts, aliens, anything you can imagine, and some really good one-liners. This game's just got it all. You're an inspiration for birth control. Where did he come from? Get out! Now I can honestly tell you, I played this probably for about three hours the other day. I loved every second of it. I'm not giving away the verdict yet. Let's just say I was completely enjoying myself. And we'll leave it there for now. The old Duke 3D was fantastic in that bash nights, packing your computer around with 20 other guys and killing each other. Yes, you young'uns, before the internet, we had LAN parties. And then one day on Steam, I saw this. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Now, Duke Nukem was one of my favorite games, so when this came out, it was like reliving a second childhood. Hmm, what's happening here? I apologize in advance. Taking forever. Time to stop pissing around and get this big guy back into action. I couldn't help myself. Yes, 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 small things. But enough of that. The bad guys are back, and Duke's off to save the day and coming out of retirement. It kind of threw you straight into this bit. Nothing like going against the big boss level with bullets. It's down to you and me, you one eyed freak. I'm gonna kill you old style. I love playing with these sound samples I had. I'll rip your head off and shit down your neck. This was a quite challenging level, but we skipped it. He shoots, he scores! It's good. Now this game was a little more sexual than the original. I did censor some bits and left some other bits out. But you get the idea of where this is going right now. What about the game, Duke? Was it any good? <laughs> yeah, but after 12 fucking years, it should be. In this game, you never know what to expect. I had two boss levels in the space of 15 minutes, which was really cool. Which is also a contradiction for me, because people that know me and know the games I play, I hate boss levels. But in this one, it just worked so perfectly, it fell into place. Rest in. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. 3D Realms did such a great job with this game. It's like they made sure they took everything from the first one, brought it to the new one, and we all followed. In general, sequels suck. This, you actually had a smile on your face all the way through, unless you were screaming at the keyboard because you got killed. You alien motherfuckers are gonna pay for this. You got big guns, big monsters with big guns, and the big lady parts we can't show you. Stop moving! Duke, it was our first time! I mean, with an alien. I didn't show you where baby aliens come from. So what's the verdict? If you're into first-person shooters and you've never played this, well, go buy it. Your gaming days would never be complete if you've at least played one of these games. When I started the idea of this series, I was a little worried about how the older games are going to hold up. Are they going to be enjoyable and is it worth doing? Now I've done the two episodes. I want to relive the stories and games that I played back then and enjoyed. Some are going to be great, some are going to be not so, and we're going to find out together. As for Duke Nukem 3D, Duke Nukem Forever, it's a definite thumbs up. Well, look at that. You can see my dick from here. Stop it. I'm Hamrat. We've got lots to go through with a nice games catalogue. Press the button to hit subscribe and keep the notifications on. And then you'll never miss the episodes when they come out of Let's, Let's Go, Go Back. Back. Thank you for watching and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Catches.